Hi guys, welcome back to Victoria 3 as the Netherlands. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our wars of conquest across the various parts of the world, mainly Africa right now. There's also one little play you can do if you are interested, guys, is this land down here. People tend not to go for it early on. So if you change your areas of interest, which we actually have an extra area of interest, don't we, I think? Um... Yeah, we actually do have an extra one. You can do that. And once that's recognized, you can start colonizing it. You can see Chile and Argentina both have colonies now as well. But that's fine. You can get a little toehold and start taking them as sort of uh, your puppets, etc. But for us now, we're going to move our declared interest over here. Potentially, I might look at uh, getting the Congo. But we shall see. We shall see. We're still taking ages to colonize down here. You see America's America's on it now as well, which is a bit of a problem. Because they're going to colonize a lot faster than us. So, And you can see Britain up here has decided to colonize up here. And we've only got one piece of land. They've got a, a whole bunch already. So our colonizing efforts are quite slow. But it's a long game, guys. It's a long game. It's not just about the early game. I, I, good to say our GDP's gone up quite significantly. Our population's also gone up, but we've got a lot of radicals, and getting rid of them is just so hard right now. The intelligentsia are very upset. We need to do a law that'll make them happy. Everyone else is pretty nice. Rural folks slightly unhappy, but everyone else is happy. The intelligentsia, we need to get them happy. Um... We are starting our naval invasion over here, so let's have a look. Oh, we're smashing them backwards. Fantastic. Fantastic. That is what we like to see. Benin and Sokoto are going to be great puppets to have. Maybe Oyo as well. And Dahomey. Like, all of these areas we want to take. That's kind of our big chunk of Africa if we want it. So, now we are fighting Benin. And we should just be shredding their troops, you can see, yeah. They are, we, we have cannons and muskets, and unfortunately they don't. <laughs> so, yeah. Fractional distillation is unlocked. Cool, that's quite good. We might want to use some of those soon. I'm just so annoyed by the amount of radicals. I think the only way to get rid of them is to go multiculturalism, which we cannot do right now. We're trying to pass the National Guard, which gives us extra... Troops, it will also make the armed forces quite happy. Will it make the intelligentsia even more unhappy? I think it will. Maybe it'll pass this turn. Oh, no. It was unsuccessful. Yeah, stalled. That's annoying. It's annoying when you get stuck in a rut with these things because it tends to happen all at once. Oh, Benin comes all the way back here, which is quite good. It's also, you can see, quite well developed. They've got a lot of stuff. Oh, that all looks like subsistence farming to me, to be honest. But let's have a look. Yeah, they've got cotton, livestock, banana, millet farms, tobacco. Yeah, they've got quite a lot, which will add to our market quite significantly. Oh, France has been at war with Qing. Okay. Did France get a treaty port? Britain has. It might be our time too. That would really help our market out. That would incredibly help our market out. It would tank the cost of a few goods. But in doing so, um, tank our costs of production because of the raw resources that Ching has. Uh, I still, I don't know. I don't think 20 battalions is enough though. I think you probably need about 100 still because they've got... Hundreds and hundreds of battalions. They're terrible battalions, but they're battalions nonetheless. So, um, yeah, I think doing that is all we can do. So, we managed to puppet Benin, which is fantastic. Hello, Benin. They are rebellious, but oh well. Should be adding to our market now. Hmm. Yeah, services. Clothes and furniture just a constant issue. Grain is also a bit of an issue. Tobacco, paper, luxury clothes. We're getting arms manufactories now, so that should help. 
I'm assuming we've got a problem with iron. No, iron's okay. We should hopefully be able to build some more iron, though. Yeah, if we build on the windward coast. Build two there. That should be good. Let's have a look at what else we need to do. Let's cancel this trade route. Same with Ching. Expensive government goods. Paper and clippers, fine. Expensive military goods, yeah, we're trying to sort that out. Trying to sort that out as well. Yeah, we have a high tension. How is our infamy? Oh, it's still only on three, and we've just taken Oyo. Uh, I'm sure you would like just a standard piece. Fantastic. Do we start... Do we just chain straight instantly into Sokoto? They have a lot of battalions. That's the one issue. Ooh, I, I, think, I think we can beat them, though. Because of the way the combat works in this. <laughs> and we do have Benin and um, Ashanti troops as well, remember. So... Let's get there, and let's go there. Fantastic. It's good to have this little spot in Benin now. Who, anyone want to join? Potentially Bornu and Damagaram. If that is the case, then we will puppet them as well. Do I want to take any states here? Well, I can't. I mean, I do, but it, it will be huge radicalization. So let's leave that. And we will puppet them. And you can see, now if we look at our diplomatic packs, we're making 11k off Dusty Dutch East Indies, 1.36 and, and 987 from Ashanti. So it's quite, a, it's quite a nice way of getting money. Make four new puppet as well. Then if Damagaram joins, all of these will puppet them all. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of extra infamy. But that's fine. I don't think it'll be a huge amount of infamy, honestly. Let's have a look. We're slightly infamous now. Hey, what's this one? Oh, it's Oyo joined. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, Infamy's at, what, 44, was it? It's only an extra 9 for that. I mean, as long as no one starts a war to cut us down to size, it should be fine. Um, well, I tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll man this front. We'll let Benin deal with the northern front, and hopefully we get rid of Oyo pretty quickly. Ashanti, come and help me, bro. They might back down. You never know. I doubt it. We're going to puppet all of these guys all at once. That would be fantastic. We really need to deal with this quickly. So that we can come back to this front and start attacking their really weak troops. And you know what? Let us activate our conscripts. Just because we can. And we need some extra troops against Sokoto's large might. 100 troops over there. Or 100, 100 divisions, I guess. I, I don't know. War has broken out. Fantastic. Let's go. This whole region will then be ours, basically. This whole little corner of Africa. Dahomey would be nice to kind of break it up. Let's see how we're doing. Looks like our guys are winning. Oh, no. Benin's at us. Looks like we're losing. <laughs> so we need, to, we need to get through this really quickly. Come on, my man. Yeah, we need to just absolutely just squish them as fast as possible. So that they capitulate. Keep pushing. Otherwise, we'll get pushed back off here. As you can see. So we need to do this as quick as possible. Just defend, my boys. Just defend. For as long as you can. Come on, we need to take this land. Winning that one again. 
Come on. Make them capitulate. Okay. Ah, government legitimacy is, is really bad. That brings our legitimacy up quite significantly. Hmm. Landowners want to join. I mean, that just makes everyone... Everyone's pretty happy in there as well. It's just the intelligentsia that's pretty upset, so... Oh, well. How is the chance now? It's 30% now, so it's even better chance. Come on, you need to get this done quick. I don't want to make the intelligentsia any more unhappy, because I do really want them to be happy with me. Because I want to pass some laws that they will like later on. Goddamn radicals still going up. Come on, speed this up. You're going too slow. Too, too slow. So too slow. Embarrassingly slow. Need to take... Come on, there's no one here. Go and take it. The warfare, bro. That is the one big issue with this game, is just the warfare is just not quite there. It's just too dumbed down for me. I need something else to do. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I can just watch it. How is our building going? We are still fully building. We're building those ports. We're also being building those iron mines. Let's have a look at our market. God, we're importing a lot of wooden furniture. Clothes is just still a huge, huge issue. So let's really ramp up our textile mill production. Um, I could do it in Ghana. Not enough qualifications. Four there. And then we'll go for four in Gelray. And that should really help out. It's going to take a while to build them anyway. So we're just smashing this army. We're just getting pushed back by the other one. Can't let them cut us off, though. That'll be a bit of an issue. Well, we're fighting Sokoto now. Now, Oyo is fighting Benin. Okay, they've swapped around. That's actually better for us. Because I think we can push them back here, even though we only have 26 men. A scandal in Holland. Police have shut down a notorious male brothel. The arrested proprietor has revealed that Luke Van Dorn, who's a landowner, is part of his clientele. He must resign. Yeah, I don't really care if he resigns. Fine. See how we do on this battle. Okay, we're doing well. Still, our troops are just so strong compared to theirs. Very strong indeed. Yeah, hopefully the... Uh Benin sort of cleans this up. Oh, wait. Why are our troops over there again? What is going on here? It's me. That's me here. Weird. Yeah, we are pushing them back. We want. We just want Benin to capitulate, though, so they, their troops are out of the war. Because they have 19 here that's taking our troops out of the front line. So now these guys are back here. Ah, God damn it! This is a little bit annoying. Oh, wait, no. Wait, well, why? Let's <sighs> just advance there quickly. Quickly advance, bro. Take this land. We'll take that little little spit there as well. Oh, it looks like we're winning up here. That's fantastic. Well done, Benin. Good, well done. Bit annoying we have to go all the way through the whole of Sokoto. It's going to take a while, but oh well. Gives us time to build our buildings. Chill out a little bit. Try and get our bureaucracy back up so that we can make our colonial uh, stuff a bit better. And while uh, we're speaking of that, let us actually do that. Uh, build some government administrations. Going to build one in Ghana. Going to build one here. Also going to build another one in Friesland. So that's 
An extra three. I think that's enough. It's going to cost us money to doing that, so... Don't want to cost us too much. Um, what's going on here? Where's our war? Oh, so Oyo has capitulated, so... What? How are we not... We are at war with Sokoto, you know? Oh, we're going to have to do um, a naval invasion. Why did our guys do that? <clears throat> That's going to be a hard naval invasion to pull off, I think. But we're going to try. Then we can get all the Ashanti and Benin troops back. So at least we took Oyo. They, these, these places have a lot of people. And a good, decent GDP... If we look at our diplomatic packs now, Oyo is providing us nearly a K, which is just fantastic. So we're making up for our lack of being able to colonize. We now have the National Guard. Intelligentsia are even more angry now. Oh. <laughs> we made the armed forces pretty happy and the petty bourgeois very happy. The petty bourgeois are loyal now, so we should get some more loyalists. Uh, and let's have a look. Is there any laws that these guys would be willing to... To change? Okay, multiculturalism is available. Uh, the landowners endorse that, really. So we're basically getting rid of the petty bourgeois' happiness and the church's happiness... In order to make the landowners and the intelligentsia happy. It's so good though. It'll really reduce our radicals. So I hope it passes. I hope we manage to do it. Wait a sec. Cool. Let us continue with our war. Okay. Psychiatry minus 5% bureaucracy population cost. Fantastic. Our bureaucracy should be, should be reducing then. The problem with it. How are our buildings doing? Okay, we've built one port already, so that must be of here. Yes. So that's connected our market in there. We're building one there now, and then we're building one up here as well. How long are these taking now? If we have a look. Uh, it's a lot quicker. It's now down to 300 days. So we could potentially consider... If we did that, that's up to 400. I will have a look at taking these later... Once we've sort of filled out these regions. But I do want to colonize up here. Because it's kind of free land really. That has logging camps on it. How are we doing? Did we? Did we... Oh, we didn't manage to get in. Let's try it one more time. I didn't get to see what the problem was there. How long has it got? 40 days. That's fine. Would he consider a... White piece now. No. Because they have been in. What would what do they want then? Do you accept that? They'd accept our war reps. They just want war reps. That's the one good thing. They just want war reps. I can't believe we lost there though. Why did our guy go to standby? Like we had a front open here. But I guess as they capitulated it. it just took them off. It's quite annoying, really. I mean, if we colonize there, would... It'd be great if it just opened right next to Benin and we could just jump in. How many days have we got now? Seven days. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Right. Let's have a look at this then. Okay, we're winning this one. Oh, that's a bit better. Let's go. Now we should manage to get Oyo and Benin troops on here. I don't know about Oyo because they were part of the last war. But Ashanti and Benin troops should come back now. Come on, the boys. Let's go. Bessemer process. That's decent. We're probably not going to use it just yet. Wait, why have you done this again? I don't get it. Why were you doing that? Right, let's go. Beat back their troops. They don't even have a general there. Poor guys. Okay, this is fast and furious. 
Yeah, their troops are just paper tigers, unfortunately, for them. We've got to do this, though, before we start getting negative war support. Okay, are they doing well on this battle? Seems like they're doing better. No, we're still going to win. It's a defending... We're defending on this one. You can see uh, the little... Different sort of warfare aspects there, you can see. So the next battle. So they've kind of got... Is that them firing out of that, or are we just firing at their houses? Because <laughs> that's quite horrible. I mean, it is colonialism, so it is pretty horrendous. <laughs> so, uh, let's carry on. Oh, we're getting into Sokoto now, which is great. Are we the only army here? Looks like we are. Oh, we might lose this one. It's close, though. No, we've won it. Weird. I don't know. It looked very close for a second there. We just need to make them capitulate. Looks like we're sort of starting to run out of supplies a little bit up here. But then again, you can, you can never really tell because of the war system being so stupidly simple. Is Benin's army going to come along? I'd quite like someone to bring one of their armies along. Oh, we're going to lose that one. Um, well, they're on minus eight because we've, we're occupying some of their territories. Okay, they're going to beat us there, looks like. Looks like they're going to beat us, but on here it looks like we're going to win. I don't know. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. No. Okay, we're starting to lose a lot of these battles up here now. So what I'm going to do, once this battle's done... Yeah, we're starting to lose a lot. Even though we've got 71 offense. Oh, goddamn intelligentsia, bro. Going to make them even more unhappy. And once that this battle's done, we'll uh, we'll start defending. And they should manage to get to minus 100, and we can puppet them anyway. Then I'm not too bothered about these guys. We'll, we can puppet them later. So, we'll wait. Oh, goddamn. Come on, finish this battle, bro. Done yet? Come on. Um, and then we'll... Uh... Alright, let's do it. Defend the front, my friend. So all we need to do is defend until he gets to minus 100. Which is fine. Uh, and I'm sure we'll be able to defend, hopefully, against these guys. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we're, we're shredding them. We'll defend for a little bit. If we need to keep advancing, we will. So they should capitulate at minus 100 war support. I don't want to do that. I want to puppet Sokoto. Shell gun. Smooth bores for arms industries. Cool. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at some of our industries and see whether we can change anything. So we have sweetness in sweeteners in our food industries already. We can also go to patent patent stills. I think pot stills will be uh, helpful for now. Furniture manufactories. We can go to lathes, which makes tools be used a little bit more. But let's do that. Should make us more efficient. Let's also not go for leaded glass. It looks like. Uh, of course, we're going to go for pig iron tools. They should last a little bit longer. Um, and then arms industries, we can go to smooth bores. Looks like it's going to cost us a lot of money. Um, not enough qualifications. An input goods shortage of steel. Uh, do we have any steel mills? Oh, that would be a, that would be a serious problem. We have iron mines. Let's go for that. Uh, we have iron mines, but no steel mills. Well, I think we've already played around with these, haven't we? Go for the butchering tools there. Apple orchards is fine. Harvesting tools, yep. Let's do that. Logging camps. They're all non-hardwood, but we're gonna have to, gonna have to gonna have to change that. Oh god, look at the radicals go up now. God damn it, bro. Oh, the church is angry, and 
Oh, and the petty bourgeois. Why have you got so upset? I mean, multiculturalism seems to be working. Seems to be going through. Interesting how you've got so upset, though. Wait, how, why have they got so upset? I don't think doing that law... I thought only upset two groups. Yeah, the petty bourgeois and the church. Yeah. Why are the rural folk now so angry? Why is it ticking down, bro? Why is it ticking down? No migration controls. 24% of the political strength in the interest group is radical. Fuck me! Bro, how do you deal with radicals? It makes no sense! It seems so unbalanced! Is it just me? Like, we nearly have a quarter of our country as radicals, like... And I've been playing it so cautiously with them, like, I've been... They've been happy, pretty much all of them, apart from two groups have been happy the whole time. And yet still a quarter of the country is radicals. How does that make sense? It makes no sense. Um, well, I don't think we can get to uh, those guys. I can give you that. Benin can give you war weps. I don't care about Benin. <laughs> but now we have Sokoto as our little vassal. Which is fantastic. So we're kind of dominating this region. Dahomey would be the next target. But I think for a while... Yeah, we need to let that tick down. Soko demands independence. Sokoto, as soon as we've vassalized them. Are they joking? Absolutely not. <laughs> Don't be foolish. I'm starting to make money now. This better start going down, bro. Uh, I could do with some I could do with some authority back to start boosting some of these groups. Now the intelligentsia are happy. Armed forces. Hmm. Yeah. A suppressed interest group is less attractive for pops to support. There's only thirty one thousand of these guys. Only twenty one thousand industrialists. Yeah. The rural folks is quite a lot. I wish there was a way to just like, you know, appease them somehow. Other than just in the government screen. Like, because what can we do here to actually, like it needs clicks, to, in my opinion. It needs stuff to do. Because like, you can't just passively keep them happy and angry or whatever. Like, you. Like, just passively, constantly, by changing laws. Because some of them are going to be happy by them. Some of them are going to hate them all the time. So, I don't know. I think it needs stuff that you can do to make them all happy. Like, some... Like, estates in EU4. Like, there should be clicks here to do. Hmm. Like, can we... Or am I just being dumb and the stuff you can do with them? I don't know. It seems seems rather obscene the amount of uh, radicals we're getting, honestly. Well, I'm glad we've uh, managed to to get these guys though. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, and what are we? We are doing some buildings now. Let's have a look. Textile mills now. Fantastic. So we should be making a lot of clothes after that, and lots of government administrations. Uh, so the petty bourgeois are upset, so I don't really want to do that. The church is upset. The intelligentsia are happy though, but no, I think leave the king to himself. I don't, don't support him. It takes us back down to 14%, which is a bit of an issue, but let's hope it passes. Okay, we are starting to uh, improve our colonization efforts over here. Slowly but surely getting a bit bigger colony. Which is good. And we're getting a colony up here as well. So that should fill in Mossy. Once we're touching Messina, we should try and get Messina as well. I wonder... 
Yeah, they've got one million population. It's worth it. What about their uh, states? They not have gold mines up here. I feel like some of these places should definitely have gold mines. Here? No, iron mines. I'm unable to fully hire. Not have the population. They have 23,000 peasants. I guess they might not have the um, the people um, with the qualifications. Oh, authority's going up, so that's quite good. Uh, like, yeah, I just wish we could do some stuff to help these guys, like to make them happy. But there is not much you can do at this point. <laughs> it's been set. The main thing we can do is just try and get rid of uh, radicals by making our living standards better. Which multiculturalism is going to do. So, for a lot of people. So that should really help with the radicals for, for a short while anyway. Ah, Sokoto, my friend. Sokoto, my buddy. What a glorious, what a glorious nation. That we now have uh, puppeted. And I think that's... Yeah, we're going to have to wait a while before we start doing any more of that. Realism is unlocked. Okay, cool. It's, um, where's our art centers? Where is our art centers? Uh, do we not have any? Apparently not. Unless I'm just being dumb. They're not here, are they? No. 262 subsistence farms. Slightly upsetting. Our population is going up quite significantly. But wait when we get multiculturalism. It will go up loads, hopefully. Um, police have shut down. Another male brothel. Oh my god. They're all going to them. Uh, who is this guy? He is evangelical church. Yeah, let let everyone know about it. Make the church less popular because they're very angry. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're actually starting to make some serious cash. So, going to drop us down there. Also could potentially increase this. The intelligentsia are happy though for now. Dropping that down should really help with standard of living. Drop down some of the radicals. Yeah. Fantastic. You just got to take it slow with this game. You've got to take it a little bit slower than you would a lot of other games. I really do want to come and colonize down here at some point as well. Just to expand our influence down, down there. Uh, but I think Africa is our main priority right now. And how this corner of Africa looks, this uh, bit of West Africa looks fantastic in our orange. We need to take Dahomey and Damagaram, Bornu. We need to take all of these pretty much. And we can have quite a significant little vassal swarm over here. And look at our diplomatic packs now. Sokoto's giving us 5k. Woo. That is good to see. Do you know what? Because we're making so much money, I think we can afford to build some construction sectors. We've got five. And I think we'll build... Holland doesn't have enough peasants. That's slightly annoying. Ghana does. Um, yeah, you pretty much just need peasants for this. I'm going to build two in Ghana. Ghana's going to be a bit of a, a bit of an industrial hub for us. It looks like. It's fantastic. Uh, hmm. Why isn't Britain and all them in there? Are they already got some sort of diplomatic plays going on? I, I personally would want to take that as a state. But I would like to do it after multiculturalism enacted. Doesn't look like it's going to be. have a look stalled and ruler restrained hopefully those will go away 
Yeah, let's have a look at our migration anyway. Do we have a lot of migration? We've got a lot of emigration from Gelray, but a lot of migration into Holland. Oh, well, only 84. How are we doing in Ghana, for example? Yeah, only 73 going. Some of these places, a lot of people leaving. Uh, back up to 0.4% chance. Fantastic. Oof. Oh, God. We nearly got full gold reserves now, so we do we do really need to uh, sort our money situation out and start spending some of our money. So I'm going to turn that up to three. And then I'm going to uh, stick these up to the top. Then we'll start constructing a little bit faster, which is fantastic. So we're getting the textile mills, then we're getting some government administration, and then... Hmm, what do we need on our market? Services are still... Grain is a huge problem. Yep. Grain, still clothes. Let's try and import some clothes. 105 from the Austrian market. We need more than that. But what about grain? From Qing, we can get 770. Which is about right. So, let's do that. Water tube boiler. We can, in fact, start going through some of these buildings and making some of them a little bit more expensive to run. Yeah, military shipbuilding. Arms. Go for smooth bores, potentially. Hmm... Go for market squares over here. Makes more services. Yeah, let's do that. Then rural-wise, condensing engine pump. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. For the iron and coal mines. We don't have any steel mills, do we? Do we? Well, that's slightly annoying. We've got no peasants in Holland now. It's a bit of an issue. Build four in Galray. We've got the money for for now, so let's keep it up. Ah, yes. Well, I think we've done it pretty successfully this episode, taking a lot of those places. Quite like. Okay, we're colonizing down Kong now as well. I want you to go north, bro, not south. But oh well, not much we can do, is there? Okay, we're doing it all right. Futa Jalon is now next to us, so I would like to kind of take that state. <sighs> Slightly annoying how multiculturalism. We need a successful debate, basically, to take it above to 10% again. So when that passes, let's see. Come on, boys. Let's go. Come on. Let's get a good debate. Let's get a good debate. Let's get it up. Come on. <laughs> Ten days. Get a good debate, please. Not a bad one. No bad debates. It didn't make a difference. Uh, who else would support that law if we look at our government? Um... So, the Intelligentsia and the Landowners. So, I mean... I could try and get the Intelligentsia into the government. If we got rid of the Industrialists... That actually really helps out the government anyway, but... Cannot be in power while angry. I mean, they were already angry. That helps slightly. You can't do that because they're angry. God. These guys are angry as well. I guess that's the best we can do. And we have the intelligentsia in there now as well. So, yeah, that should bring it back up. Slightly annoying, but it's fine. Yeah, now we've got a lot better construction opportunities. How are we doing here in terms of our population, in terms of our buildings? 
Are they fully uh, decked out? Yeah, full employment for their construction sectors out there. Fantastic. And we are the first person to this region, so hopefully we can get as much of it as possible before France and the US get their disgusting tendrils on it. Minus 50 authority, we're fine, we've got enough authority. Kindly burn this letter. A prominent member of the Conservative Party has been accused of gross corruption. Ah. Oh. Minus 20% momentum to the Conservative Party. Who is the Conservative Party? Armed Forces and Evangelical Church. Yeah, we don't like the church, so fine. Also, Multiculture is at 20% now. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. I've really enjoyed this. It's been good fun. Um, we're doing relatively decently touch wood. Anything can go wrong in this game, but at the minute, we're all right. Let's uh, check out Infamy. Yeah, we need to get below 30. Try and uh, try and sort ourselves out. And then we'll go for a few more diplomatic plays. Most likely taking Dahomey as a state itself rather than as a puppet for ourselves to build logging camps and cotton plantations, etc. Um, and basically, yeah, we'll take that one as our own state, I think would be the best idea. And then we'll conquer the rest of this if we can, eventually. Not right yet. We're too infamous right now. We've also kind of blocked off Denmark's expansion, which is fantastic. Down there because of Ashanti in the way and Dahomey there. Great Britain only gets this little sliver. Fantastic as well. Whereas we get the whole of Ghana. Anyway, guys, well, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you again on the next video.